clear. Vacation's over, school is here. It's a famous quote by Winfred C. Marshall. One whole year passed with virtual classes, leaving a handful of memories, again starting with the same. Amidst the pandemic and lockdown, we all are waiting for a new beginning with a ray of hope. Everything will get back to normal. Good morning, man and all. Hope you all are safe and fine. One day, everything will be fine. And let's prepare ourselves for this coming days. A good be beginning makes a good difference. So, let's start the day. No, this academic year, 2021-22, with a prayer song. Lord, I offer my life to you. Everything I've been through. Use it for your glory. Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my life. Things in the past, things yet unseen, wishes and dreams that I yet to come true. All of my hopes and all of my plans, my heart and my hands are lifted to you. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory. Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you. As a pleasing sacrifice, Lord, I offer you my life. Prayer purifies our mind and soul. Start your day with a positive attitude and always smile to the world. It's a culture to remember God Almighty before everything we start or do. I welcome Reverend Sister Elsa for reading Bible. The Book of Proverbs the rewards of wisdom. Learn what I teach you, my son, and never forget what I tell you to do. Listen to what is voice and try to understand it. Yes, beg for knowledge, plead for insight. Look for it as hard as you would for silver, or some hidden treasure. If you do, you will know what it is means to fear the Lord, and you will succeed in learning about God. It is the Lord who gives wisdom. From Him come knowledge and understanding. He provides help and protection for righteous and honest men. He protects those who treat others fairly and guards those who are devoted to Him. If you listen to me, you will know what is right, just as fair. You will know what you should do. You will become wise and your knowledge will give you pleasure. Your insight and understanding will protect you. The word of God. Sister, for creating a heavenly atmosphere here. It's a day of pride, the first day of this academic year. It gives me immense pleasure to invite the captain of Charlene Hearn family, our principal, Reverend Sister Anila Maria, for the welcome address. Sister, please. Good morning to my and Most lovable parents, teachers, and my beloved students. A very warm welcome to 2021-22 academic year. I hope that you all were enjoying your summer holidays with your parents, relatives, even in the pandemic situation of COVID-19. You all are safe at home and we all together praying for the welfare of the whole world. In this pandemic situation, we are unable to come back to school 
for learning. In this situation, we are ready to learn new things through the online platforms. This is our important day. We are reopening our new sessions. Today is the virtual reopening day of Shalini Bhavan family. As I am rendering my service as the principal of this esteemed institution, I would like to welcome all of you to our Shalini Bhavan family. So, let me do my duty. First of all, I would like to welcome my dear parents. You are the backbone of our school. Your support is encouraging all the teaching and non-teaching staff of our school. Even in the midst of pandemic situations, you were supporting us by giving your instructions and suggestions during the last academic year. Let me thank all of you for your wonderful supports. At the same time, I expect the same cooperation from all of you. We can work together for the benefit and the bright future of our students. We all are considering all students of Shalini Bhavan School as our own children. So, it is our bounden duty to make them, to mould them as the beautiful vessels. Through that vessel, they can produce the aroma of love, service and sacrifice to the whole world. It may be their desire and dream. So let us work together for the bright future of our children. On this occasion, I render my heartfelt welcome to all my dear parents. Welcome you all of you to this virtual reopening ceremony. Thank you dear parents. Next, even though they are our members of our family, it is my duty to welcome my dear colleagues. All my teaching staffs are ready to do all the responsibilities with great enthusiasm. So my dear teachers, I welcome all of you for the new academic session. Next, I am very happy to extend my warm welcome to all my dear students, my dear children, to our family. As it is the first day of our school, I would like to share a story to my dear children. I know you all, are, you all like to hear story from your elders or teachers. So here I would like to share a beautiful thought that is the familiar thing what we are using at our home daily. We know. So let me ask you one question. What is the usage of a mirror? Can you say what is the use of mirror? Yes, a mirror we are using to see our own reflection. After doing some makeups on our face, why we are, why we are doing some kind of makeup? Why are, why are we using makeup things? Yes, in order to reflect our beauty. So, we are seeing our own beauty through the mirror. It is the for that purpose, we are using 
a mirror. So a mirror is reflecting the beauty of one who is standing in front of it. So my dear children, as we are beginning the new academic session, the first day of the new academic year 2021-22, I would like to share the message that we all should be a mirror in front of the world. Our personality should reflect what the world needs. We all should be a good role, role model to the world. We can share love, gratitude, sacrifice. We know all, uh, all people around the world are suffering due to the pandemic situation of COVID-19. It is our bounden duty to help each other. Now, as per the government directions, we are safe at home. We are uh, living at home itself, not going anywhere else. We are safe at home. But even though the situation is like this, we can do, we can render our service. We can do many good things for the people, those who need our help. So my dear children, this is my advice, not advice, this is my request to all of you. This is our new year, new academic year. We are, we are trying to learn more things. That is academic level. At the same time, we have to grow in our personality. We have to help each other and others, those who need our help. During our past days, that means years back, when you were here in the school campus, by hearing the instructions from here, from your teachers and as well as from principal and other authorities of the school, you were ready to do many good things. You were giving, you were ready to uh, share your food packet. That means uh, every Wednesday we were sharing our food packets to others. And uh, you are ready to collect money. We had uh, coin box in each classes. And you are sharing your, uh, what you are getting from your parents. So please remember all those things. Please don't forget the values what you got from our school. So let's continue to do Good, goodness for others. Even though the situation is very bad because of the pandemic situation of COVID-19, we have to help each other. We have to find out who need our help. Our, uh, our situation also, at home, we know uh, we are also very, facing very difficulties at our home. Sometimes, uh, we are not having enough food or enough clothing and we are not getting uh, good dress and all or what we like. Food items or snack items we are not getting due to lockdown or this pandemic situation of COVID-19. At the same time, you have to remember what we are getting from our parents. It is a gift of God. God is the one who is giving, who is helping, who is uh, giving everything to us. Since we are the creatures of the great creator. So, once again, I would like to remind you, you are safe at home. Be at home. Pray. Play and study well. So once again, play well, pray well, and study well. And you can be the good mirror in front of the world. You can reflect the great personality of you through the mirror. That means you are the mirror. 
So you can reflect your personality around your area. So this is my wish. This is my prayer for all of you. Once again, I hope all of you will follow what instructions you are getting. So thank you my, student, my dear students and I welcome all of you to the new academic session of 2021-22. Once again, I welcome all of you my dear parents, teachers and my dear children to this great occasion. And I would like to remind a few matters regarding our new academic year. This year, we will have classes through online platforms. And we will follow uh, revision classes. The same, at the same day itself, we will have revision classes through our WhatsApp group also. So we will combine both online platform and WhatsApp groups. So if anyone uh, left from the WhatsApp group, Please try to rejoin, inform your class teachers and try to join in the WhatsApp groups. So we will discuss all matters through a WhatsApp group itself. So once again, I extend my warm welcome to all of you to this great academic year. May this year be the great one. This is my prayer for all of you. So once again, hearty welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sister. I would like to say that light and brightness has always been equated with positivity and motivation. We would now have the la uh, auspicious lamp lighting ceremony. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome our manager, Reverend Sister Cecily Rocky, to light the lamp and inaugurate the day.
students good morning and hearty welcome to the shalvi bhavan family for the academic year 2021 2022 hope you all are safe and healthy at home shalvi bhavan school is following cbc based curriculum and is focused on holistic development of the child The corona virus 2019 has pushed us back to stay at home. In this pandemic situation, we are forced to follow online classes. Students, you should have a you should have a goal of what you want to become in your life. Even though the classes are delivered online, the teachers will be helping you to clarify your doubts and they will monitoring and assessing your activities students self discipline and commitment from you will be needed for the success of online the learning platform my children pray daily pray for your family pray for your parents pray for your friends your teachers for the whole world for our country for our state and also pray to god to strengthen the people those who are in the health department those who are involved in serving our dear ones those who are affected by corona virus we have to be very careful in this pandemic situation and need to follow the advices and the rules given by the government stay at home avoid unnecessary travels regular hand washing and sanitizing social distancing pay attention to cleanliness of our surroundings etc hope and pray that we will overcome the situation very soon I wish a blessed and happy new academic year. Thank you. That was wonderful. Thank you so much, sister. Loga samasta sudhino bhavandu. May all the world live in happiness. Now I invite Sister Maria Bindu for a solo, sister. Please. Loga muruven suham pagerana snehadi bami. Sister Julia 
to deliver the thought for the day. Assistant Project Manager, Principal, Staff, I am my dear students. A warm good morning to all. Let me share today's thoughts. Well, begin is half done. On the first day of school, student A makes a timetable for the whole year and work it daily. On the other hand, student B goes out to play, thinking that he will take each day as he comes. Which student do you think will do well at the end of the year? Student A and why? Because this student has begun the academic year well. No wonder. We say well begin is half done. You wish to do a science project for a school exhibition? Sit with your parents or friends. Write down your plans and points. Note down the materials required, the aim of the project and so on. Then developing the project becomes easier. The initial spade work that you have done will hold you in good stead. You will find that because you planned well in the beginning, your project work hard like dog work. So always remember, whatever you decide, begin it well. For well beginnings, have the better one. My dear students, now you are at the door of the new academic year. Plan today itself for the best outcomes. Best wishes. May God bless you all. Thank you.
academic year begins today. You all know, you know, we are facing a very a tragic situation. COVID-19 COVID cases, COVID-19 pandemic cases increases enormously these days. So this year also we are not able to arrange classes at school. When the situation is okay, you can come back to school as usual. Till then we will follow online classes. Okay, let's unitedly pray uh, for the safe situation and for the happy school days. And also I would like to thank my dear children uh, for staying back home and for staying safe for these days. And I also appreciate your patience. Don't get frustrated. Be hopeful. Everything will be okay very soon. And you know, this is the second wave of the disease. Dangerous second wave of the disease. And I would like to, uh, I request each and every one of you to be more cautious about the safety of you and your beloved ones. And dear children, we all miss you a lot. It's a long time uh, since we met. And you are also very eagerly waiting to come back to school, uh, to play with your friends, to see your teachers. And uh, may those days come very soon. So let's start our uh, new academic year with uh, hopes and dreams. And no matter what happens around us, let's try our level best to achieve our dreams. Every new dawn brings new hopes and new chances. Make use of every little single chance or little chances to become a greater person each, each day. With that being said, from my heart, I wish you all a very, very joyful and a productive academic year. Okay? Thank you, children. Thank you and have a to one and all for the new academic year. Hope all of you are fine, safe and healthy at your homes and missing your school too. We know that due to Corona pandemic, the whole country has locked down itself. Dear children, all we need to change and adapt to the upcoming challenges so that we move on to reach our goal. We can face and overcome these challenges together with utmost care and patience. You know that this year also we have to follow online classes. Even though the classes are delivered online, the teachers will be helping you to clarify your doubts. Continuous evaluation, monitoring and assessment will be done by the teachers. <coughs> Dear children, Self-discipline and commitment from your part will be needed for the success of our school as well as to achieve your goal. We can pray together to overcome this situation and meet soon. Thank you. Once again, 
hearty welcome to one and all for the new academic year may god bless you all hi i am agalga msm from class 4b welcome welcome how do you do i'm so glad to see you sit down sit down all the ring hold each other's hands you happy happy that's a feel when we are together happy happy when we are together happy happy when we are together welcome welcome how do you do i'm so glad to see you sit down sit down all the ring hold each other's hands too happy happy when we are together happy happy when we are together good morning children i am mrs demia i'm waiting to see all of you in the new virtual academic year always remember your bravery that you be stronger than you seem smarter than you think i welcome all of you in the virtual academic year 2021 22 god bless you children thank you